Good morning guys, my name is Katherine Weiss if you're new to my channel and I am currently a second year PhD student studying history at The Ohio State University and today I'm going to take you guys along for another day in my life. Now if you've been watching me for a while you may notice that I am finally back in my apartment. I have not been living in this apartment since the middle of May because I was house sitting this entire summer but now I'm back and I am attempting to try and get back settled in. My old roommate moved out um, actually last week while I was taking a trip to Texas to help my partner move down. But now I'm back and my new roommate moves in tomorrow, which is very exciting. One of my very best friends, Colleen, is moving here. I first met her about six years ago, right before I did my first Disney college program, where we were roommates back in 2015. And now she is moving here to live with me and honestly just like try and have a great time in Columbus, especially given the situation of the world right now. Who knows what the fall is going to look like? I know OSU just instituted mask mandates again indoors for students. So hopefully um, we can still have classes inside the classroom with masks on by the time classes roll around in a few weeks. I think for my mental health, it would just be great if we could be back in the classroom, but we will have to see how all of that plays out. In the meantime, I am still finishing up my independent study. I just have one more session left with my advisor. And for this last chunk of readings, the section is entitled, um, let's actually look at what the section is titled. So <laughs> the last section, of my reading list that I'll be going over with my advisor is called Aftermaths, Demobilizations, and Commemorations. So yesterday I was working on reading this book, Japanese Society at War, which talks all about how Japanese society understood the Russo-Japanese War of 1904 to 1905 and how they commemorated it after the war. Honestly, it was a really interesting read and the author draws heavily on things like soldiers diaries and letters, really trying to get a ground up perspective, which is always the kind of history I like to both read and like to write. So I really enjoyed this book. Today, I have a like 230 page book to get through called Homecomings. which is all about returning POWs and the legacies of defeat in post-war Germany. This book pops up in a lot of my other readings. So I'm excited to finally kind of get a look into what this book is all about because I think it's another one of those books that I'll keep seeing uh, in my studies. So first up on the docket is this. I'm gonna do a little reading this morning and then in the afternoon, I'm gonna meet up with my friend Justin. We're gonna go back to the coffee shop Roosevelt, which I went to earlier in the summer to honestly just continue getting more work done. And it is a Friday, but I do not have any evening plans. We'll have to see. I've been doing a lot of Netflix watch parties and FaceTimes lately. So we'll have to see what I get up to. No firm plans. But I'm very excited to finally be getting back and settled into my apartment. And enough talking. I think I've talked for like five minutes. Let's just get right into the day. furniture that we had gotten together. I just like let her take it. I ended up getting also a lot of stuff for my partner who moved. So I got a new coffee table. I got a new dining table, but there's still a few things that I need. I purchased a new couch in literally April and it was supposed to arrive August 5th. Um, and then I got a call like a week ago saying that it wasn't going to be delivered until the end of August. So who knows when I'll get a new couch for now. I just have to make do with what I have. Um, but I also needed a new shower curtain. I don't have a shower curtain anymore. So I think one of those packages is here. I got a few new books. I have two books by Jay Winter, War Beyond Words and Sites of Memory, Sites of Mourning. I've actually read both of these books, but they are books that are on my reading list or and or books that I will just 
be using a lot of in the future so i decided to go ahead and get these and then i got another book called what nostalgia was which was on my reading list uh and i already read parts of the book but as soon as i read literally page one i was like okay i need to buy this for myself so i got this because it's a super interesting book and let's see what else we have going on here all right then i ordered another book i think like yesterday for one of my classes and this is a very thick book so one of the classes i'm taking this fall is a class on french history from the french revolution up until world war one so i'm very excited this i think is kind of like the textbook -y ish detailed book that we'll be working out of this semester so that's very exciting which means hopefully this is my new shower curtain so I have shower curtain, shower liner. I'm very excited because the shower curtain looks very beautiful. It's like eucalyptus leaves. So I'll have to put this on a little bit later. But for now, I think I'm going to eat lunch and do a little bit of puzzle work. I am obsessed with puzzles and I haven't been able to do any puzzles for a long time. Also, a bunch of the puzzles I have with our previous tables that we had, no table was big enough for them. But now with one of my new tables, I can finally start doing my puzzles again. So I'm actually working on a puzzle I got last September when I took a trip to Michigan. And I will show you guys that puzzle later. I'm very excited. It is a 1000 piece puzzle. It's huge. It takes up the whole kitchen table. It's so great. And I love doing puzzles. They're so soothing. I can like put on a show in the background or listen to a podcast. It's just something that is very calming to me and great for my mental health. So I'm going to put these away, eat lunch, and then get back to my readings. All right, it was a few hours later. I went to the coffee shop to read with Justin for a few hours and ended up getting a lot of work done. I only have 20 pages left of the book, which I honestly could have done a few hours ago, but I just keep putting it off. Then I came back here, was watching TV for a little bit. I have been watching this TV show called Daredevil on Netflix. I would not recommend it if you don't like gore or violence because there is a lot of that, but it's kind of like superhero, law, crime, all of that kind of like mixed into one show. I think it's good, but also I always have to watch a comedy show afterwards or I will not be having a good night's sleep. But all that to say is I watched Daredevil and then I've been working on this puzzle ever since. When I get into puzzles, I just cannot stop. And this puzzle is evidence of that. I think I've got probably about half of it done and I started it, I think yesterday. And I still did a full day's worth of reading as well. So what can I say? I am just obsessed with puzzles. <laughs> but that is it for today. I am so glad that I'm finally back in my place, getting settled. Unfortunately, there are still a lot of things that need to get here. I need some new lamps for this room. There are a few other tiny little things I need to get. Unfortunately, the shower curtain is too small. Our shower is really weird. It's kind of like a college size. It's not a full shower. So I got like a shower stall sized curtain. But the one that I got is like a foot too small. I don't really know. I am kind of too lazy to return it to Amazon. So I might just try and use it and see what happens with that. But I might need to get a new shower curtain as well. And I still need two chairs for this table. All that said, things are slowly coming together. The semester starts in two weeks. I think the semester starts in two weeks. I have so much to do before then. I will continue to keep you guys updated on my beginning of school preparations. I will talk a little bit about the class that I'm going to be a grader for in the fall, which is very exciting. And keep you guys posted on what else is going on in my life. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a message in the comment section of this video. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.